Hi, Dr. Eric Westman here with another episode of Dr. Westman Reviews. Zevia versus Spindrift, which is better? Of course, remember to get my top 10 tips to start keto the right way if you haven't already done so. The link is in the description below. Have you noticed there are a lot of different sparkling waters and diet sodas and all these? Uh, I think the industry has gotten the the uh, um, idea that people want less sugar in their drinks and they're coming up with with all sorts of new products, uh, which I think is a good thing. Um, the uh, sparkling waters and uh, diet soda called Zevia, it, it's actually not just sparkling water. It, they have flavors. Um, the Zevia comes in like a, a Mountain Dew or, or Dr. Pepper or cola flavor. So they're trying to match the familiarity with the things that you may have had before. Um, and Zevia, of course, uh, the, to look at the carb content, uh, I always recommend looking at the total carbs, not net. Net carbs really just means more carbs because you're subtracting out the fiber and sugar alcohol on the assumption that it doesn't impact you. But I've had people change from net carbs to total carbs in their daily carb calculation and get things starting to work or to get them through a plateau or a stall. So always look at total carbs and uh, Zevia has no carbs. So from a metabolic standpoint, it's going to be preferred. Spindrift has two grams of carbohydrate per serving. So you're going to look at them side by side or any other product for that matter. And um, the, from the carb standpoint, the uh, Zevia is going to be better. But if you don't like the Zevia, some people tell me they don't like the taste, they don't like the flavor, they don't like the aftertaste, then for heaven's sakes, don't have that. <laughs> because um, I, all too often people will choose things because they think it's good for them when they don't like the taste. I mean, do you remember the rice cakes, you know, uh, in the low fat diet? Oh, my goodness, like cardboard. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you like them, and, and uh, I apologize, but I, I never did. Um, so you're not going to sustain a, a way of eating if you don't like what you're having. So I always recommend that people choose what they like from the list of foods that I use and, and um, uh, keep the carbs really low. So if you like the Zevia flavors and it's zero carbs, then you don't have to worry about the amount of it. And that's going to be the difference between a zero carb soda and a two gram carb soda or sparkling water like the Spindrift. And, and this can generalize to any sort of food and or drink. So two grams per serving of the Spindrift, let's say you like the flavor better, uh, then you're gonna have to worry or be concerned or, or be mindful of the amount that you have. Uh, remember, if something has zero total carbs, it really doesn't impact the body at all, the metabolism. So you can have as much of that as you like. But if it has two carbs, then you're going to have to be you know, sticking to one or two serving. You can't have an unlimited amount of it. So you might have a spin drift uh, once a day. And it, depending on the total carbs and whatever else you're eating, and depending on your your what you're trying to accomplish, if you're trying to reverse diabetes or obesity or other metabolic problem, you want to keep the carbs under 20 grams or 30 grams per day if your body allows it. Um, I start people at 20 total grams per day uh, because people come to me, they want it to work the first time every time. And that's why I teach such a strict method. Although it, it becomes easier, the stricter you are because the cravings go away. And, um, uh, it, it's amazing how fast your, uh, ability to not eat carb full foods happens just in a day or two for most people. You don't really get pulled to the donuts or uh, other sorts of foods. Um, so, you know, getting back to the Spindrift if, or other soda, um, you know, have you noticed that the carbonation gives you a little kick? I think some people notice um, the sparkling waters or, or soda themselves uh, will uh, have the carbonation uh, uh, 
effervescent uh, sort of increase in energy or alertness. Um, so if you're switching from a regular soda and you go to a diet, uh, uh, let's say a, a something that doesn't have carbonation, you might be missing that carbonation that the soda used to have, but now you're getting the flavor from something else. Um, but side by side, I think the the Spindrift and Stevia and uh, these other sparkling waters have that carbonation uh, that uh, gives some people a little alertness. And uh, you might notice that uh, happening, even though you're not having the sugar from the sodas. Um, so you know, I'd much rather have you have uh, the Zevia if you like it, the Spindrift if you like it, than a regular soda, which might have you know forty grams of carbs per serving. These having zero or or two, um, respectively. Um, but you know, it, after doing this for over twenty years, I will choose zero carb things as much as I can, just because then I don't have to worry how much of it that I have. Uh, so if I'm having Having something like Spindrift where it is two carbs per serving, I have to just realize I can't have an unlimited amount of that. I have to watch the the serving size or the number of servings that I have in the context of whatever else I had that day. Um, I personally prefer some other different products out there, not, not the Zevia or, or the Spindrift. These are just common ones that people were talking about. Um, and depending on where you are, uh, uh, or, or you may even be able to make your own sparkling waters uh, if you like the carbonation. Uh, best, I, I'm, I'm not aware of the carbonation causing any sort of uh, nutritional or metabolic problems within the you know usual consumption of carbonation that people have. So it's really it really becomes a flavor sort of thing. A a um, uh, uh, yes, I do allow people to have artificial sweeteners early on because I'm trying to do everything I can to get people away from sugar. So non-sugar sweeteners are okay in the program that I teach, um, and uh, looking at zero carb uh, sorts of beverages like this uh, is a useful tool to get fruit flavor or to get flavor that um, that you're used to having uh, to get you through that uh, away from sugar for a while. What I notice is that most people then will kind of reduce their non sugar sweetener consumption kind of automatically. Uh, so I don't stress at first to uh, make sure that people aren't having sweet things. I think you can have sweet things. Well, then I know you you can. Um, uh, very uncommonly, some people are unable to have the sugar-free things. Well, of course, if, if Zevia isn't the, the taste you like, you might try some other sort of sweetener. And, you know, if aspartame gives you a headache, for example, don't have that if you have that particular intolerance. So find a, um, a artificial or, or non-sugar sweetener. I say that because stevia is not artificial. It's actually natural. Uh, so there are these other sweeteners that aren't sugar. What we're trying to do, defend against is that metabolic effect of sugar and refined carbs, which is to raise the blood glucose. And because raising the blood glucose raises the blood insulin. And if you have, you know, over and over this glucose insulin sort of uh, uh, pattern of what's going through your blood, this is what leads to insulin resistance and prediabetes and obesity. It's the same common pathway that we're trying to protect against by getting you away from sugar and on to these other types of sodas or, or uh, sparkling waters like Zevia or Spindrift, which would be fine, although the amount of Spindrift, you have to be careful to um, uh, moderate that. Of course, then expense and cost where the which uh, stores have these sorts of things. I, I'm finding that a lot of options are now available. Uh, so be sure to check out the sparkling water aisle. Uh, still, you know, the juice aisle is like a, just a desert in terms of low carb options still. Um, yeah, it's just fascinating how the juice manufacturers haven't gotten that the grip some have but there aren't a whole lot like like the sparkling water versions that are available now um, 
I hope that's helpful and uh, I hope you're doing well on your journey and I'm always interested in hearing comments below. Um, and remember, if you haven't already, please download my top 10 tips to start keto the right way. It's available in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out adapterlifeacademy.com.